Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian from Mindful Marketplace. And in this video, or in this audio actually, I'm gonna be giving you a really quick overview of the brand new directory uh, membership feature within the Circle community. This is for those of you who are looking for an alternative to conventional, traditional WordPress-based directory themes like My Listing, Listing Pro, Lista Bull, Listify, uh, Listio, all those sorts of, you know, my listing, all of those sorts of more traditional WordPress themes and or plugins, frameworks, etc. Uh, as I've been uh, excitedly describing to folks in our own little small community, uh, Circle has been working on this membership uh, directory feature, which is now uh, about to be released. I'm recording this, if I haven't mentioned that once already, on the 20th of October 2021. And this feature is going to be available to all Circle communities on the 22nd. So in about 48 hours, give or take, every Circle community will have this really great membership uh, style or directory style feature within their membership community. Now you can have a public member membership, you can have a private membership. There are all kinds of really cool and creative ways of utilizing this. And I'm going to describe it rather than show it for the time being in uh, public, right? So I'm going to do this via an audio rather than a video, simply because uh, two reasons. One, I don't have this enabled on my community just yet. They're rolling this out slowly to the whole uh, kind of platform of Circle users. So I'm not... Uh, I don't have it to show you, so I would actually, the video that I recorded on this already, which I did about an hour ago, I will show you, but you have to sign up below to get access to this so for a couple reasons. One, it's a community that I'm a member of, not, I don't own, I'm not involved in other than just being a user. And I, it's a little bit unfair of, for me, I decided to publish that uh, in a live way on YouTube or otherwise in the public simply because it's not my community and why I'm a member of it and the feature is live to see. I don't want to upset the, um, you know, the owners of that community. And I kind of thought about it back and forth a little bit and just feels like publishing that on YouTube might not be nice. Um, simply because other folks, you know, who are in that community, it's a niche community, nothing to do with marketing, nothing to do with entrepreneurial uh, interests. It just might not be nice to have their faces on a YouTube video uh, when they didn't kind of like sign in or sign up or, you know, agree to that, even though, again, it's a, you know, it's a live community. So anyway, I'm going to describe instead what you have access to with this new uh, feature, which will be available to you on Friday. All right, so uh, at the top left of your Circle community, you have a Home tab. And now with this directory feature, you have a Members tab. So you want to click on that and it brings up this really great looking um, directory that lists all of your members. It lists, it, it gives them all a big message button so your members can message each other uh, or the public will be able to message uh, your members, if you're running a like a front facing public to professional um, sort of site where let's say you want your members to be, you know, discoverable, surfaceable to the public and to be contacted by the public. That's what we're doing. And I imagine that's what many folks in my listening audience also want to accomplish. So there are there's a really great uh, search members tab with really quick lightning fast search functionality, which obviously we all know as WordPress users who have built these sorts of sites, that's always a challenge when you're building this sort of directory framework or, or and you're using themes and plugins and all that stuff. There's always challenges with respect to search and that's been solved by dint of this circle a search feature. You have member bio, headline, location, role, spaces, and tags. So essentially, you can filter people by uh, their member bio, what's in their headline. So hi, my name is Ian. Let's say if you typed in Ian under headline, I would show up as would anyone else who had Ian in their headline. A location. So if I'm in New York City, and you typed in NYC, you'd find me. Uh, if by role, so you have uh, the ability to 
um, further filter by dint of administrator, moderator, member, etc. So you can kind of, you know, give people priority of place by virtue of their role within your community. Then you have the spaces tab. So this gives you a lot of ability to filter people around what spaces uh, or professionals, let's say, what spaces they're involved in. So you might have a space called mindfulness if you're running a community like ours. And then another one that's cognitive behavioral therapy or mental health or you know, exercise physiology or whatever. So people who are in different sort of um, buckets within the, you know, service space, providing services to the public within the mindfulness, mental health, and, you know, kind of related fields would each be kind of attached to a space which would further, um, you know, uh, what's the right word I'm looking for, filter or stratify or kind of segment, I guess is the appropriate word, your audience so that or your members so that the public can find and filter them more uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a far faster way or in a more uh, relevant way. And there is a, a tags uh, filter as well, which is obviously we all know is really important. So in this community that I'm looking at, there are uh, just two tags. One is coach and one is moderator. So the folks who are moderators within this community get a moderator tag and the folks who are coaches, because it's a coaching community, uh, get a coach tag. And you can continue to expand and, you know, know, do much more granular work with tags. I know that they are really playing a lot of enhancements to this as well. So all of these filtering capabilities are going to get much, much more robust and are going to evolve and improve and are really going to provide this world-class opportunity for those of us who want a no-code or a very tech, a low-stress tech experience building this sort of community. You no longer have anything to worry about with respect to plugins not working or themes not working or, you know, updates not taking place properly within a plugin that's not playing well with WooCommerce or WooCommerce updates and the framework doesn't update and you have all those sorts of moving pieces that invariably tend to break down when um, you know, you're relying on lots of moving parts that are often offered by non-related entities, right? So WooCommerce is not related, let's say, to a theme forest author who created a great theme that you love and who may be on vacation for two weeks or finding themselves in some, you know, uh, meditation retreat somewhere and, and not updating their theme or their plugin. And then you're stuck with a dysfunctional site that's no longer uh, properly working, etc., cetera, et cetera, If you've done this work or built a WordPress or plugin based uh, solution for a directory membership site, event community, etc., you understand this challenge all too well, especially if you've been at this for a while. There's not anyone that I know who's been doing that sort of work that hasn't had that sort of experience, which is very, very, uh, you know, defeating. It's very frustrating. And that is not going to happen if you're using, obviously, a uniform solution like Circle to build your directory. There's also this really great events uh, calendar, which has this, you know, really, you know, aesthetically appealing presentations, visually very appealing, and it has, you know, great RSVP uh, functionality. I'm going to cover that separately. That's also available uh, now and slowly being rolled out to all the, um, you know, all the Circle owners sites. I also believe by Friday, um, you know, and I'll do a, a visual demonstration of that as soon as I have that enabled on my community as well, which will be in the next 48 hours or less. Uh, what else is there? There's just so many cool ways that you can really take your, whatever you're you're really aspiring to do in the space, building a community, a membership site, a course community, a, you know, a local directory, whatever it is that you want to build, you can really do that on Circle. And again, I pay for this, you know, they're not paying me to uh, review them. I am an affiliate for Circle, obviously. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm a paying member and I've been paying for Circle since they came out about 15 months ago or so. 
And um, I just can't really recommend them highly enough. They continue to get better. There are, there are you know, issues with Circle like every other piece of software. They have some downtime. They, you know, there's sometimes the app is a little wonky. Um, you know, there have been occasionally uh, some challenges using Circle like any other piece of software, like using Facebook or using any other platform for your publishing business. But in the fullness of time, they've really been... Uh, an incredible partner, and I think they will continue to be um, over the you know months and years to come. The other thing I would also offer those of you who are interested in building this sort of site is that the Circle members community, the owners community itself, is a really phenomenal resource that you know you have all these other entrepreneurs, many who are high profile entrepreneurs who are building really impressive communities that you're going to be interacting with in the private circle owners forum as well. So that's an extra benefit uh, that you get by dint of using circle rather than like listing, listing pro or listify or my listing or, you know, listable or all those other sorts of, um, you know, alternatives where you really, you're on your own. There's really no one else to talk to other than let's say some, you know, Facebook forum where people are just, you know, random WordPress developers building these sorts of sites. This Circle in the at you know the admin forum for Circle owners is really a rich resource of entrepreneurial ideas and imagination and inspiration and a great way of connecting with other you know peers in this space. So highly recommend it if you are interested in joining. I'm going to be building a live uh, community uh, using Circle in the next let's see next ten days or so. We're going to be doing a complete. Uh, live outreach campaign on a new community. And if you're interested in seeing that uh, develop, if you sign up for Circle using our Mindful Marketplace affiliate link, just send me an email, mindfulmarketplace at gmail.com, and I'll add you to our uh, private email list for that. And you'll get all these, you know, really, I think, um, unique and innovative approaches to building a community on a bootstrap budget without a net, live, effectively using email outreach, using uh, you know content creation, and you'll see exactly how I think about these things in real time in the real world on a real project. Teach what you know, do what you love, wake up the world with your work. Thank you, as always, so much for listening. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks.